Welcome to the Kobe Bryant Film Room, Hellified Cap Edition, featuring Marcellus Wiley and Emmanuel Alsho, right? I wanted to commentate on this segment of Speak for Yourself from uh, 2022, y'all. Uh, is Kevin Durant a top 10 player of all time, despite Nets and Celtic sweep? Let's check it out. Kevin Durant, a top 10 player of all time. Easily, uh, no, hell no. <laughs> I love KD, but KD is not top 10. Let's let's stop. He's already, Marcellus already capping. They already capping, bro. The shit just started. This shit's no. crazy. Top 12? Sure. The titles cap. 10? <laughs> Absolutely not. And uh, I let you get away with it yesterday, and that's on me. That's my fault. I should not have let you get away with such a lie, such blasphemy on national television. Um, I have my top 10. And my top 10, I will not even dispute. And I don't think anybody can dispute. Shall we look at it? LeBron James. Well, my it's your top 10. You know, to all these people out here, uh, it's your opinion. You know, at the end of the day, you can't really argue somebody's opinion. Even although I will try to, uh, I'll question his opinion. I'm not going to, you know, I can't out debate a man over his opinion. That's stupid. But the logic of his opinion, I damn sure to scrutinize. I want Jordan at two. Don't get caught up in that. You can go Jordan and LeBron. That's not the point. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? So Bill Russell's in the top five, but Will is nowhere to be found on this list. See, this is why, like, a lot of times you can't, uh, put the 60s players in a lot of these lists and be fair about it because to have Bill Russell and not have Wilt is disrespectful as a motherfucker, right? Because they played in the same era and Wilt was more dominant in that era. Wilt was the better player. And see, I don't like shit like this, right? Because now you've done erased Wilt, right? So instead of doing that, I would put the 60s players on their own list, right? So Bill Russell, uh, no disrespect to him, one of the greatest players of all time, uh, a defensive powerhouse, a uh, very smart cerebral basketball player. Uh, the MVP award, the finals MVP is named after Bill Russell, y'all. So Bill Russell is... Uh, is definitely worthy of being in the greatest of all time conversations. The problem is, is that all of these players, most of them, well, all of them are in the modern era, right? And so the game has changed multiple times since, since he played during that time, those rules, right? Uh, but shout out to Bill Russell, one of the greatest, uh, you know, uh, rest in peace, Bill Russell, one of the greatest athletes um, in NBA history. Um, one of the smartest defenders, like I said, will block a shot and keep the ball in bounds, right? You don't really see that today. You know, you see people throwing the ball into the stands and shit like that, right? Three, I got magic. Four, Kareem. Five, Bill Russell. Six, Tim Duncan, seven. I want to say this about Magic Johnson, too. Why on these lists is Magic never criticized for winning with Kareem, with only playing with Kareem and winning with Kareem? But Kobe is. And like I said to you guys before in my other video, I did a Tim Duncan video. You guys walk, uh, go back and watch that. See how they got Tim Duncan and Kobe grouped together? And they got Kobe in front of Dun uh, Duncan in front of Kobe? See, that's the type of shit that I'm talking about with the media, right? Late great Kobe Bryant. Eight, Bird. Nine, Shaq. Ten, Akeem. Eleven, Steph Curry. <laughs> Ooh, I bet he ain't on the sky. I think about that. Steph Curry, in the, is he 11? I got to think about that. I would have Wilt at 11. If I had to, according to his list, y'all. Not according to my list, but according to his list. You can't have Bill Russell and then Wilts all the way at 20. That don't make no fucking sense. 
Hey, he be laughing too. Keep going. Before KD, Kevin Durant. Scott. Now, here's why I'm not going to dispute my top. Oh, you're not going to dispute? Number one, LeBron, we know how many chips he has. Number two, Jordan, we know how many chips he has. Number three, Magic, we know how many chips he has. Number four, Kareem, we know how many chips he has. Number five, Bill Russell, 11 chips, know how many he got. Oh, Number six, Duncan, we know how many chips he got. Five. Number seven, Kobe, we know how many chips he got. Five. Number eight, Bird, we know how many chips Bird got. Three. Number uh, nine, Shaq, we know how many chips Shaq got. Four. Number ten, I understand there might be some dispute. Akeem Macho, here is why. Why? Akeem is clearly better than Kevin Durant. Two chips. This shouldn't even be a discussion. And see, they, I guess you need something to talk about. <laughs> but Akeem led his team to two back to back championships. And uh, he didn't have a top 75 player on one of them. Uh, Akeem was the driving force of those teams. He outplayed Shaq, he outplayed Patrick Ewing, he outplayed David Robinson, who was the MVP in that season. Right. So Hakeem Olajuwon, one of the greatest uh, post defenders of all time. Right. One of the greatest shot blockers. The, the under, under the record of shot blocking, statistically, he is the greatest shot blocker in the history of basketball. I'm, I know they didn't record it back in the day when Bill Russell and Wilt were playing, but Hakeem has, has that record. Right. He also... Uh, has multiple, like, quadruple doubles, right? Stealing the ball, passing the ball, blocking shots, scoring. Hakeem could do it all. He was a more well-rounded player than KD ever was. Now, KD is a great scorer. He's a better scorer. But Olajuwon's a better force. He's a better uh, offensive force. He's a better player, right? Olajuwon is, is a... Can, in my opinion, how I rank players is the players who could do the most with the least. So, Olajuwon's always going to rank high on my list. Akeem, two chips, Durant. Two finals MVPs, Akeem, two finals MVPs, KD. I don't know why they keep talking about these fucking two finals MVPs like this. Bro, base it on their performance and how they played. Regular MVP, Akeem. Regular season MVP, KD. Now, defense, Hakeem has by far and away. Hakeem, defensive player of the year twice. Hakeem, five times, first team uh, all defense, nine times all defensive in the NBA. Defense matters. Ask Kevin Durant, game one versus Celtics if defense matters. And KD just recently made comments not too long ago about how offense wins championships. <laughs> uh, the top the top, let's see, according to Acho's list, the top seven players are known as elite defensive players. Like besides Magic, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Top six. Well, LeBron, LeBron had the years where he was good on defense, but he, I wouldn't say LeBron was elite. Like, I guess one year, LeBron had one year of being like an elite defender. Jason Tatum, 360 layup. Oh, defense matters. Right but, Sal, if I were to just disregard defense, the reason that Akeem rounds out my top 10 and Kevin Durant does not sniff my top 10 is for this reason. He doesn't sniff. He was sitting at 12. If you, if you are <laughs> the best player or one of the best players in the world, then the person who are, we are debating whether or not you are the best Me? player in the world with, oh, when they disappear, you should prove that you are the best. Oh, really? Like when KD was out in game five no. in the 2019 and still no. didn't do anything? like this. Oh, like what? When Jordan was clearly the best player in the world, but Akeem, we know where he was drafted. So what? Draft? what? When Jordan decided to step away from basketball and pick up a bat for a day and a half, <laughs> what did Kareem do? Kareem's up. Give me that. was running the table on niggas and busting people ass. That's what Kareem was, uh, uh, Hakeem was doing. Okay. Give me that title. Hakeem did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hakeem said, give me that title. Yeah. Elijah said, give me that title. The second that Jordan stepped away, Hakeem said, I need both of those titles. Kevin Durant, if you are supposed to be in the top 10, then what I would want to see is the same thing. The second LeBron gets hurt, it's not time for you, KD. Whoa, 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 whoa. He beat LeBron in the finals, sir. That that's that that's a bad comparison because Hakeem never beat Jordan in the finals. Uh, 
uh, Kevin Durant beat LeBron in the finals. Be injured. The second LeBron gets knocked out in the first round of the playoffs last year, KD, it's not time for you to get knocked out by Giannis. The second that LeBron doesn't make it to the playoffs, KD, oh, it's not time for you to get swept. Think about this, Cell. Think about this for a second. Think about this. It should blow your mind. <laughs> so far, so no, so far not. <laughs> what Giannis did was, oh, look, LeBron, you out in the first round? Oh, gotta go get one. Wait a second. Le- LeBron, you didn't even make the playoffs. Giannis was not thinking about no damn LeBron James. Giannis was trying to beat KD in the Nets. And then his mind, his mindset was focused on Phoenix. Looks like I'm about to go try to get another one. That is what a player who is the greatest, though might not be the greatest of all time, should do. Kim Olajuwon, that is what he did. So Kevin Durant, if he is going to be in my top 10, does he have more chips than anybody in my top 10? The answer is no. Russell got himself 11. Jordan got himself 6. Bron got himself 4. Magic got himself 5. Kareem got himself 5. Uh, Kobe got himself 5. Duncan got himself 5. Bird got himself 3. Akeem got himself 2. Shaq has 4. But Akeem's 2, clearly and abundantly great than KD's 2. Without question, it's better than KD's 2. Um, Hakeem was so dominant, man. And he it, it, it was by far, okay, Jordan's out in the league. Who's the, who's the next best player? It was Hakeem. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But, sir, I will wait. I'm not going to listen because whatever you're going to tell me is nonsense. No, I'm not paying attention to you right now. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they listen. Yeah. But I will wait. I want to respectfully ha- – see, usually I – disrespectfully disagree. I'm respectfully disagreeing with your list. Because it's your list. Speak for yourself. We're honest. That's what you really feel. I hope. Now, if you feel that way, I'm thinking different of you because you shouldn't be feeling that way. But that's okay. I tell you still my dog. Go ahead. Okay, please. Uh, my list, you can't move it around. My list is Teflon. My list is going to talk bad about some people because I know some people expect. Here we go. And I guarantee you the person he's going to disrespect the most is Kobe Bryant. But let's see. To be in my list, or at least you expect him to be in my list. Let's start off with Wiley Me, <laughs> Top 10 all time. See, this, this is... <laughs> <laughs> see, this... <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta give me time with this shit. So... This is the reason why I created this channel. I would not exist if it wasn't for bullshit like this. Bro, for y'all people who got KD over Kobe, fuck y'all. Right? And that that's just that's just real spill, man. I ain't even gonna sugarcoat the shit. I'm just gonna give you a fuck you. Because you're not, you're just being an ass at that point. Kobe Bryant had the hardest road to the championships, to his two championships in NBA history. His two championships in those runs, he went through more 50 win teams than Magic Johnson did in his whole career. Right? Kobe Bryant has three peated. Right? Kobe Bryant went to three straight finals in a row without a top 75 player. Kobe Bryant is a 12 defensive team, has 12 defensive team honors, right? KD hasn't made one defensive team, right? Kobe Bryant's the better offensive player and Kobe Bryant's the better defensive player. KD would not average the amount of points he averaged in the early 2000s, y'all. KD's a great offensive player, can score in the sleep. But with the physicality, KD struggles with physicality, y'all. In this era of basketball, I say I say KD probably be in the 2000s. He'll score about 26. 
He'll probably score, score about 26 points per game. 25, 26 points per game. Maybe 40, 46% from the field. 47% from the field. But he won't be in the damn what he does now. I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Not in the uh, slowest pace era in the history of basketball. But KD's a great player, man. But you've seen what happened when he goes against physical defense. His numbers go down. Right? Kobe Bryant, his numbers remain the same. Right? Or even go higher because of the error. Right? So, in this era, Kobe would damn near... Shit. 30 is easy for Kobe in this era. <clears throat> now, by the time Durant came in, the offense, the, the, the uh, offense leaned towards... Uh, uh, the, the, the game leaned towards the offensive player. But this is ridiculous on his face. Bro, to have Tim Duncan... Now, we're focused on KD and Kobe right now, right? Which is disgusting. But what's even more disgusting is Duncan over Wilt Chamberlain. You might as well not even have Wilt Chamberlain on the list than to just disrespect him. Right? That's why I don't include the 60s players on my list. Because those guys need to be compared to each other. When they played in their eras, they need to be com compared to each other. This, to me, it's you can't compare Wilt to Shaq. The rules were way different. The way they played was way different. You just can't have them on the same list. Because then you would have to judge them on the same criteria, and you can't. But all of these other guys, you, they're, they're modern era. So you can kind of judge them a little bit. A little bit better. But that shit's ridiculous. That shit's disgusting, bro. To have Tim Duncan over Will is disgusting. And it's pretty much in order, y'all. And so y'all can take the shots already. Yeah, Michael Jordan, sorry, brother. And you gotta make another documentary for me. I saw it live. Uh, and uh to uh to Rich Paul, right? Rich Paul, you got two of these guys on media on primetime, right? TV, primetime television, who both have LeBron at number one. Right? I I don't feel like LeBron's number one. He he's not number one on my list. But when he talks about the disrespect and the media the the, the 24-7 media cycle and everything, the well the 24-7 media cycle is constantly putting LeBron at number one or two. Right? Where do they have Kobe? Where does this 27 media coverage usually have Kobe? Barely top 10? Get the fuck out of here. LeBron James, number one, best basketball player I've ever seen. Number two, Michael Jordan. Number three, Kareem Abdul. Triple R with the hook. Number four, Magic. God, don't smile, baby. Number five, Larry Bird. It ended a little abruptly. The plane didn't last smoothly, but still, hey, Larry Bird was a monster. Shaquille O'Neal, number six. Come on, force of nature. Number seven, Tim Duncan. Woo! Starting to get sticky here because I'm starting to say, what should I do with the numbers? Number eight, Will Chamberlain. You see, you see why I created this series? And this is Hellified Cap, right? The Hellified Cap part is not his opinion. It's the reasons for his opinion, right? It's it's the bullshit, right? That's the Hellified Cap. Get back to you. Number nine, Kevin Durant. Yes. And number 10, Kobe Thanks, Bryant. Man. I can hear y'all right yeah. now. Where's Bill Russell? Y'all better chill. I'm only allowing one guy from the old school when Same they play. You might as well not include them at all. It against the milk, man, no to jump sense. in my list. And with Bill Russell is not the guy. It's going to be Will Chamberlain. I know. Big O. Average is triple double. I'm sorry. Respectfully, I have to have my list as is. You can take that away now. It's time to argue with Acho. I can tell. You had Bill Russell in there. This is no shots at anybody. I'm not talking about the person. I'm talking about the player. And if you can't separate the difference, if I'm talking about you, then you need to know who you are as a person. Bill Russell averaged 15 points a game. When he was six foot ten against people who weren't his height, whatever. People say, oh, no, I don't do that. When there were only how many teams in the league when he started off? Eight teams in the, the league. Marcellus Wiley has been 
pushing this Kevin Durant shit. Now, you can tell he's a Kevin Durant fan, and so am I. But, bro, that's disgusting, bro. Hey, don't do that, Marcellus. Okay, when he shot from the field, 44%. And from the free throw line, Shaq level, 56%. Remember how we did Shaq? Well, we would did that to Bill Russell, but none of us was around watching basketball at that time. Okay, now let's talk about it. He ranked 27 out of 50 players in scoring at the time. He was a tremendous rebounder. Okay, well, let's put Robin up in the top 10 list. Oh, no. So, wait, but you have Tim Duncan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have Tim Duncan ahead of Kobe, sir, and Will. So, you don't give a fuck about scoring. So, why are you going to hold it again? See, this is this is what Hellified Cap is for. Hellified Cap is to expose the media. Bro, you don't give a fuck about scoring if Tim Duncan is above Will and Kobe. So, why now you want to judge... I think what Tim Duncan is a uh, 19 points per game score for his career. Not now you want to hold it against Bill Russell. It's bullshit. And it's inconsistent. Won all those championships. Yeah, with eight Hall of Famers. Talk about super teams now. Y'all want to go? Now Hall of Famers matter, but with KD it don't matter. With Duncan it don't matter. Okay. I can talk about a super team. Those guys play with more Hall of Famers than Kobe, by the way. But okay. Next level. Not taking shots at the The Bronze Russell. played with more Hall of Famers than Kobe. Right? Magic's played with more Hall of Famers than Kobe. Kareem's played with more Hall of Famers than Kobe. But okay. Because I respect the man. He was a beast. <laughs> but come on, man. This game has evolved to a whole new level. We got to do a new level of thinking. So there's my Bill Russell argument right there. Do you want me to keep going? No, your because... argument, though, has nothing to do with the evolution of the game. Your argument is based on who he played with. And then our argument's going to be, well, who did KD play with? KD's played with uh, the Monstars, bro. I, I know I know you don't. I can only get, I got so, more dumb. I can only get so dumb within a 15-minute <laughs> block, and I'm already reaching my quota of dumbness and ignorance for a day. So, um, it hit the road. We're going to beat the trap. Okay. What? What? Uh -oh. Um, dog. here's why I agree with you. He couldn't shoot. <laughs> no, here's why I agree with you. He couldn't score. Truth be told, I have the same limiting reactor as you. And, and see how he's disparaging Bill Russell, uh, one of the greatest players of all time. Just, just straight disparaging him. But it's gonna praise KD. I only put in one dude from the old school. And you put Bill Russell over Will Chamberlain? Oh, because Bill Russell would beat Will Chamberlain when he went head to head. That but is egregious. If we're comparing like individual players, that is egregious, sir. Because the gap is is ginormous. So was a five-time NBA MVP. Bill Russell was a five-time NBA MVP. Bill Russell was undefeated in Game Sevens. Bill Russell uh, uh, was an eleven-time I mean, I, mean, I, I can follow him with the logic. It's still just kind of it's kind of disgusting. Though. Player coach, Bill Russell, three times first team all NBA, eight times second team all NBA. But more than that, great Google search, great Google search. More than that, five time MVP. But I'm with you. And, and the reason why it's disgusting is because player movement wasn't what it is today. So if Bill Russell's playing for the Celtics and uh, Will Chamberlain's playing for the Warriors, it's not like he can just do what KD did and go join the Warriors to, to, to fucking, you know what I mean? Like, or go join, not join the Warriors, but join a, a all-time great team and win a championship to beat Bill Russell. He had to stay where he was at for a longer period of time, right? <clears throat> so it was harder for, like, the player movement wasn't that much. Put in one dude from the old only one old. I'm not even gonna argue okay. Bill, Will, and not like you, you and I watched either of them. No, but Will, better. Got and, and, that's, and that's another thing. Niggas be putting niggas in their top 10 who they ain't watch. So how the fuck are you going to judge players you didn't watch? That's my thing. That's why I don't really try to include like some of those guys. I used to, but then I thought about it. I said, no, I haven't watched these niggas. How am I going to put them over niggas I've seen? Argue that. Okay, I'm focused on Kevin Durant right now. Okay, the first thing that you and I must battle out, and, and let's do this just for the sake of being honorable human beings. Empathetic hands. Putting this man ahead of Kobe Bryant oh, that's not might be your most ignorant take on television to date. Mm. It's the worst take in the history of takes. 
Like, there's, like, literally, I don't see the angle, bro. Like, I don't no, see it. why. They got competition now. <laughs> Kobe Bryant's a five-time champ. Five-time? Oh, Kevin Durant, a two-time champ. Marcellus Wyden. Kobe Bryant Yeah, won. they keep trying to act like, oh, with Shaq? Oh, of course. I, be I bet you what he's going to do is he's going to try to bring Shaq into the equation, those Shaq years, and try to hold it against Kobe and act like they don't count. And act like Kobe only has two. Two NBA titles with his next best player being Pau Gasol. Where's Kevin East? Durant? Kevin Durant East? won two NBA titles with his next best players. Uh, big Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Draymond and, better and Steph, Steph Curry. Was better better better. Better. I, I, you know you said it. Troy, wherever you are, respect him. Yes, you just said it. You just gave me all I needed. KD was better than Steph. What you talking? He don't listen. Don't he don't talks listen. fast. He listens slow. <laughs> So Kevin Durant won two titles with his next best players being Clay and Dre with a head coach, uh, uh, Steve. But mind you, we're a better player than him and Steph. Clay up on Not out. Not only that, when he lost the 3-1 lead, he went and joined the 73 win team. Right? So, uh, I mean, he's it's, it wasn't the same team, but, bro, you kept the core together. You added KD. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so it ain't like what Kobe had to do. Kobe had to build his shit from scratch, from the ground up. Now, they got pow, but that's one nigga. And the Lakers were already the number one seed when pow came. <laughs> Keep going. Keep but going. Kobe got two. Oh, now, disregard the three he got. And Kobe beat shit. the most talented team in the Celtics, too. Yeah. He had two. Yeah, you better disregard They had two with his next best player's pal. But here's the ignorance I'm, I'm, I'm hurting for you with. Yeah. You can't put KD mm. ahead of Akeem Olajuwon because KD hey, has You can't put him ahead of Steph. Fuck Olajuwon. Accomplished anything that Akeem didn't oh, accomplish. Oh, I forgot about him. Like, that, that is truly where you are so mistaken that anything KD did, Akeem did. Remember that old commercial, Michael Jordan, me and him? Anything you can do, I can do better. Mm. I can do anything better than you. KD, finals MVP, Akeem, finals MVP. Mm. KD, another finals MVP, Akeem, finals MVP. Mm. KD, a regular season MVP, Akeem, regular season MVP. KD had to travel and join a uh, super team but to do it. You don't have to do all this shit, bro. You just look at it and say, who was the better player? Who won more with less? You ain't even got to do, do you ain't got to do all this shit. It's King not that like, no, I'm just gonna stay put. Don't worry. When Jordan goes to sleep, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. We're gonna go to sleep. Uh, uh, King. Wow. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Jordan went to sleep, so King won because Jordan went to sleep. Two time defensive player of the year. That KD, I'll wait. Akeem, nine times all defensive team. KD, big goose egg. So I feel that you don't like defense, although you were a defensive player in the game of football, so it baffles my mind. Baffles. I understand you don't like defense, but you cannot put Kevin Durant over Akeem, and you cannot put Kevin Durant mm -hmm. over Kobe. And at a minimum, that now puts Kevin Durant at 11. I'm not even talking about Oscar Robinson. I'm not talking about Jerry West. I'm not mm -hmm. talking about uh, Will well, Taylor. I, I, I think, uh, but I'm not talking whoa, about that Jerry West. Uh, uh, KD conversation would be would be close though. Like if you think about it, that Jerry West conversation would be. But what about Dwayne Wade? Where did they have Dwayne Wade? Right? I don't know. I mean, maybe KD's better than Wade, but maybe he's not. You know? Well, none of those dudes. Just by nature of Kobe Bryant, who we all saw play. Apparently, uh, Marcellus wasn't watching the game with his glasses. Team Elijah, who we two all saw play, that puts Kevin Durant. Okay, and you gave me three names. Respect to the late, great Kobe Bryant. We're talking about performances on the court. We're talking about Akeem Olajuwon. Respect to his greatness. We're talking about Steph Curry. Respect to that. And this is what happens when you have football players talking basketball. It's greatness as well. But here come these shots. Let's start off with Steph Curry. Um, you just admitted, but I know we're doing our TV thing. You just admitted that KD and Steph Curry, when they played together, who was better? It was KD. I did it, not at all admit well, that. Well, you just said the next best player. Okay. And I said, well, well, you know what? Players. I'm so sorry. The finals MVP admitted it for us. Oh, okay. It was all right. Okay. Let's get to Steph Curry. Let me, let me focus in on Steph Curry. Steph Curry won his first championship going against, he thought, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love. It turned into LeBron James, 
and Matthew Dillard. Well, okay. Uh, that's true, too. Uh, Steph kind of lucked out when Kyrie got hurt and made his job a lot easier. But he still had to grind it out against Della Vadova, who was fouling the shit out of him and not getting called for it. Uh, but uh, this actually, this segment proves two things. It proves that KD was the better player at the time. But it also proves Marcellus wrong because Steph went and went without KD. So he won before KD and then he won after KD, right? So you can't say K Steph needed KD, but you could say KD needed Steph to win those child titles, right? But no, champion Steph Curry, you're up 1-0 on KD. Respect, no, no, shit. He won, no, no, I got love that. I'm not mad. But then the so next he year, just he disregards Steph's championship and act like uh, again it's the finals was no big deal. Well, if that's the case, sir, then why didn't KD win the championship? We got a better team. Regular season, you set a record, mm -hmm. seventy-three wins, and then you lose in the finals. And then all of a sudden, some guy by the name of Matthew Dillon. Whoa, 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 whoa! They weren't even supposed to be in the finals. KD and them blew a three-one lead. So the nigga you're trying to praise, literally, the, the team you're trying to shit on, he lost to and then joined the next year. How can you do that? Dova was known as a step stopper, gets paid a contract because of how he performed against you. Oh, let's, kill, let's kill this shit. Let's put this to bed. Della Vadova was not no goddamn step, step stopper, bro. He need to stop with this shit, bro. That nigga damn near went to the hospital after Steph was fucking him up. He was fouling. He was holding. The referees weren't calling shit because they wanted the series to be close. Jell Vadova was falling on people's legs, putting niggas in leg locks, all sorts of shit that they were allowing him to do. And you guys underachieve. Hmm? Then you go get Kevin Durant, and it becomes a wrap. Kevin Durant is better than Steph Curry by... All rankings I've seen, except I chose, but that's fine. Let's look at the numbers. That, that didn't age well. Career numbers. Oh, my God. Points per game. KD. Rebounds. Duh, he bigger. Okay. Shooting from the field. KD, well, he bigger. You count those as well. Steph got him in three-pointers. Double doubles and triple doubles. You would think Steph Curry would get it? Mm -mm. It's KD. Let me leave Who, that alone. Whose criteria is this for who's the best player? Like, that was all hand-picked to benefit KD. Everything he... He picked was to benefit KD. Let's get on to the numbers. Let's have some more fun than that. Steph Curry, finals MVP. Huh? Damn it. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna leave you alone, Steph Curry. Finals MVP. So, so now we're we're gonna we're gonna cap on the Eagle Dollar shit. We're gonna act like Eagle Dollar was the reason why they were there. This MVP shit, I hate that shit, bro. We're gonna sit here and really act like Eagle Dollar, not give Steph his credit. When he led the team in scoring, okay, whatever, bro. I'm going to get to Akeem Olajuwon, who got his two championships, the same as Kevin Durant. But he, Kevin Durant said, all comers. Not, oh, Jordan gone, let me get mine. <laughs> Kevin Durant. Wait, hold on. Akeem Olajuwon led a way worse team than KD. This is not even, the Warriors actually had a winning record without Kevin Durant. That's a fact. Credit to help. Kevin Durant said, please. Help. Steph, Steve, he faced Steve, everything. Steve, he saw Steve, everything. He didn't say LeBron retired. He didn't say LeBron retired. The second LeBron James did take off Kevin Durant and win nothing. Uh, what? The second LeBron James this year, last year, and his first year in LA. He beat LeBron twice though already. So we we we, we, we did whoop LeBron's ass. We seen it. You can make excuses for it, but at the end of the day. If you're this great defender like everybody's saying you are, you lock up, right? So he was busting LeBron's ass. But that's the that's besides the point. He had to join two other uh, 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 two other All-Stars in order to win. Hakeem never had to do that. Kobe never had to do that. So how the fuck do you have KD over Kobe Bryant or Hakeem? It doesn't make no damn sense. Done that. We done that. If but he, you don't have him over Duncan. It's just crazy, bro. He beat Jordan anytime once, twice. Then. Remember when Key was going to Jazz? I can't, I'm sure he would have too. <laughs> <laughs> this argument is going better than I expected. Here we go, Kobe Bryant. And I'm not uh, saying he's better than Duncan. 
But it's just he's not consistent. He judged Bill Russell on scoring. Why he ain't why he ain't had Wilt on his list. But down it don't matter. Now it don't matter when he has Tim Duncan higher than KD. I'm just pointing out the flaw in the logic, y'all. I got it. This feels bad. Because it, it, no, it's not in there. Really. There's no, there's no what argument. year did Kobe Bryant? There's no what argument. year did Kobe Bryant finally average 20 points? Fourth year. You imagine? They well, well, he was 18 years old coming into the league, sir. This is having direct. Fourth year. It, it is. Start. Fourth year. He, hey, he went to college. Stop this shit, bro. Over 20. What was your point? Oh, well, I meant that was a strong point. Let's start off there. Because it all That counts. is a dumb point. Because that's going back in the era where 18-year-olds did not start. They didn't get heavy minutes. You told me yesterday, everything counts, brick by brick. Sure, the brick five start. titles okay. count. Okay, so then, uh, yes, we're going to get there. What, how many was he the driver for? At, at he was a driver for all of them, sir. If you go back and watch, Kobe Bryant was hitting clutch shot after clutch shot after clutch shot. When the Lakers needed a clutch basket, there was Bean. When the Lakers needed Bean to guard AI, score, well, they didn't really. That that series was a foregone conclusion, right? Because they just would that they outclassed them so much, right? But the championships was really won in the Western Conference Finals. The finals was was easier for the Lakers than the Western Conference Finals, and Kobe Bryant was the best player in the Western Conference Finals. Period. End of quote. No, no, at a minimum. No, no, at a maximum, too. It's the same number. Go. So at a minimum. Come on, man. Don't, we ain't got that much time. Two. You know it was the two with Pau Gasol. That's why Kobe Bryant is not debatable. It's, it's, Nobody debates whether it was Kobe or Pau. The first title, it was uh, Shaquille O'Neal won three finals MVPs. Sure. Shaquille gives a fuck, bro? He's the, he's supposed to. With he, No matter who's playing with Shaq, Shaq's going to win finals MVP during that time, especially when the fucking East. But who was the best in the Western Conference Finals where the competition was the toughest? They'll average more points every set in, from the regular season to the postseason every single year. Kobe Bryant didn't do that. Do we debate whether Kobe was a driver or not for two, for two of the titles? No. Do we debate whether KD was a driver or not? No. Now, I do think KD was a driver, right? I do think him and Steph... They 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 work together. They were they were they were a combination, right? But Shaq and Kobe was a combination. We're not gonna sit here and act like Kobe wasn't first team all defense, right? We're not gonna sit here and act like Kobe wasn't putting up numbers when he needed to put up numbers, right? And when Shaq fouled out or Shaq couldn't hit free throws, who was leading the Lakers in fourth quarter scoring? It was Bean. We debated it all day yesterday. We debated it all day yesterday. No, Shut all day asked the question. Show. I thought it was no debate. It was just a question. I mean, uh, finals MVP. MVP for Charles Barkley just threw out the debate. Okay, finals MVP. Kobe Bryant got two. See, and they, and they, they keep trying to use the finals MVP. What the fuck does that have to do with both of them as a basketball player? Right? Because if Kobe joined the Warriors, he could have had more titles as well. He could have had more finals MVPs. So they're rewarding guys for leaving to go to a better situation and punishing guys who go through the grind. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. It was 20 times harder for Kobe to do what he did in the Western Conference Finals uh, uh, and, and, um, than what, Kobe, what uh, Durant did. 20 times as harder. He had to fight through injuries. He had to make sure his team, he had to be the leader of his team. He didn't have nobody like Draymond or, or Steph to help him in the leadership role. He had to do it. He had to do it. Right? He had to guard the best matchups. Right? He had to score the most points. He had to have the most assists. It's bullshit, man. How many does KD have? Two. That's, the, that's, to me, the argument this is... This is a but simplistic it, and dumbass argument from Marcellus Wiley. 
It's ridiculous. If you want to keep talking about something that's not objective, How is that an argument? Anyway? Because Shaquille O'Neal won three finals MVPs with Kobe Bryant. His numbers increased every postseason. Kobe's dead. He won't go against nobody at the center position once he reached the finals, nigga. First year, Kobe's didn't. Five chips. Two, two. As a, hey. Five is greater than it is. Oh, Way greater. There is literally oh, yes. no debate. And, and you know what? If we're not going to do the driver-passenger argument, then Pippen, Ori, a lot of people start getting... Nigga, did you just compare Kobe Bryant to Scottie Pippen, nigga? And Robert Ori? Nigga, Kobe Bryant was one or two best player in the world at that time. They got to get these niggas. Listen, I like Marcellus Wiley. And sometimes, like, on this show, I think this was, like, one of the most insightful shows. And they had entertaining topics. But, bro, for you to say this shit with a straight face, bro. Like, bro, you, you got to get off the drugs, bro. This conversation, you're going to start slamming them down because they, they weren't a driver. So let's stay exclusively with the driver argument. So you only want to go with how many titles were you the driver for? Well, I'm trying to just, I'm in the heavens right now. All these guys are insane. And all I'm trying to do is split. KD's won two championships. And he got his ass beat and went from OKC, where he was the leader, to another guy's team, who was Steph was the leader of his team. He was the man of the franchise. Kobe stayed down, went through the grind, and persevered to his, his championships without Shaq when people said he couldn't do it. KD and the Warriors were favorited to win the chip the second time. Now, the first time now, hmm, LeBron fans got some explaining to do, but the, the second time, no doubt LeBron and, and uh, those guys were outmatched because Kyrie left. They had no chance. But the first championship, I, I, I got to give it to KD and the Warriors because they actually, everybody was picking, people were picking the Cavs and people were picking the Warriors. But now with revisionist history, now, you know, the Cavs didn't have a shot or any bullshit like that. Theirs. I'm trying to say, what did you do to contribute greater to your legacy? Were you the driver? Were you the passenger? But it's no shot at Kobe Bryant. Right? That shit, bro. Kobe's got more 40 point games, more 50 point games, more 60 point games. He's got more defense. He's a better defender. And I, I didn't even like. It's not close, bro. It's bullshit. It's not close. It's not close. This is just a re reality check right here. That Shaquille O'Neal was the KD of the back to back to back. Shaquille O'Neal had deficiencies, major deficiencies to his game that prevented him from being the best player in the world, which he himself talks about. Not hitting free throws, right? Can't is unplayable in the most important part of the game, which is the fourth quarter at the uh, the last five minutes of the game, right? Kobe had to carry those teams. Sorry, but that's the fact. Sorry. And you don't make that same arg argument for Magic Johnson. So why isn't KD over Magic Johnson? Finals MVPs? Stupid. World champion Los Angeles Lakers, which hurts your feelings. Now, let's also talk about this. This is my last point. Thank Not God. A lie. <laughs> I told him to do this. If you look at Kevin Durant in terms of his averages, and Kevin Durant's a scoring phenom. Some say, would you agree, maybe the best scorer we've ever seen. True or false? One one of false. Now, he's, he's, he's one of the best scorers we've ever seen. Not the best scorer we've ever seen. Best scorers we've ever seen. I'm talking about me. Best scorer I've ever seen is Kobe and Mike. Those two guys are the best scorers I've ever seen, right? Followed by Shaq, right? Followed by AI. Uh, T-Mac in his prime, but I have to put LeBron before T-Mac because of his longevity. So those, so Kobe, Mike, uh, uh, Shaq, LeBron, those are the greatest scorers I've ever seen. Right now, Wilt is is probably the greatest scorer of all time. Right, 
but I haven't seen Will. Right. And now, Kareem. And I haven't seen Kareem. Now, who are the other people you would even consider? With okay. Jordan? Okay. Bird. Cole. And when I say I haven't seen Kareem, I don't mean I haven't watched tape of him. I'm saying I didn't watch him play live, and I didn't watch him in his prime to get a feel of, of the moment. Kobe, okay. Respect to Kobe once again. <laughs> Drew Diamond, he's the only guy. I gotta wrap this commercial. I think I'm laying on my payment. It's okay. The general gives you a break. Yeah, we let you pick your own due date. Good to know, because this next scene might take a while. For a great low rate, go with the general. is more points per game than LeBron, who you got at number one, and Kobe Bryant. Let that go. Average is more points per game because he hasn't plateaued on his career, right? Kobe, the last two years, again, the last two years, Kobe Bryant hurt his, in, in, the, in the first couple of years, by Kobe coming off the bench, hurt his career averages, right? And after the Achilles, that hurt his career averages, Right? But Kobe Bryant in his prime was a 28 points per game score. Right? Kobe Bryant in his prime was ridiculous at scoring the basketball in bunches. He could take over a game better than KD could take over a game scoring wise. Now, KD's more a better shooter, right? He's a better shooter hands down. Uh, KD's a monster. KD is incredible, which is why he's one of my favorite players to watch. But Kobe was a better scorer. And the numbers ain't going to tell you that. But the, the Well, the numbers kind of do tell you that with the records and shit like that. But you know what, Mar Marcellus Wiley, guys like him going to try and push the field goal percentage bullshit. With the same amount of finals MVP as Kobe Bryant. Let that go. So now all you're doing is collecting with the ad, ad, adding up the passenger as you would say, or John Barkley would say, the passenger championships to put him over Kevin Durant. That's the only thing you have right now. Shut passenger up. championships. <laughs> can I get out? Oh, no, you go. Okay, can I I'm glad you brought up that See, point. See, I'm respectful. Yeah, I'm, and I'm trying to be as well. You're trying to be as well. Um, being a passenger, too, counts for something. Like, I'm not going to completely disregard being a passenger. Okay. If it was easy, every... Hey, Kobe's not a passenger. He was the driver. Because those games that came close in the fourth quarter, who did they give the ball to to close it out? That's not a passenger, nigga. See, he's trying to defend Kobe, but he's doing a, a, a he's still sliding Kobe. He doesn't realize it, but he's still sliding what Kobe was on the court. It's a dumbass conversation. Everybody would do it. Yeah. Here's how we know it's not easy. Because Kevin Durant can't even do it well. Meaning this, when Kevin Durant got into a rift and a tip with uh, Draymond Green, Kevin Durant was like, hey, whether I'm the driver or the passenger, in all honesty, I don't even want to be on this bus. Deuces. I'm going to go build my own car and bring in my own passenger. Kyrie, what's up with it? Let's join forces. I know you did. Well, that's the thing. Kobe played for one franchise his whole career and got five titles. Right? Went through ups and downs. Stayed true grinded it out and gave us some of the greatest finals runs in NBA history, right? Uh, I think he's the first player to score 600 points in three NBA finals, right? Leading, leading the finals on both teams in scoring, right? Uh, KD is a great offensive player. But he's not even in the same caliber, bro. Don't discuss KD in the same caliber. KD won't even put... That's how you know you dick riding, bro. KD won't put himself in the same caliber, uh, caliber as uh, as Kobe Bryant. Steve Nash, what's up with it? Let's join forces. So I have to give some credit and some credence to figuring out who is the driver in the past and making it work. Shaq and Kobe. Remember, they had their rift in their chip. That's why they parted ways. They Shaq called Kobe's the best player on all nine planets. That was Shaq, nigga. But at least they got three out of them before they did. Even KD. Shaq called Kobe the greatest Laker ever. Shaq. 
only got two. He would have had three if he had a leg. If ifs <laughs> and woulders and coulders and shoulds. The fact the of right. the matter is, mm -hmm. he did. If my aunt had the dick, she'd be my uncle. If Carl Malone don't get hurt, maybe Kobe Bryant would be like, yo, I would have had four. So I don't want to sit here and talk about cats getting injured and cats not getting injured. We have to also give some credit. We ain't got to give all credit because I'll give you that. But we got to give some credit to being a passenger in a route to a title. So the God fact fuck was a nigga a passenger when he was closing out the games. That Kobe was a passenger in route to three titles and then was a driver in route to two, still makes him greater than Kevin Durant only being a driver in route to two. So you have too much formal education and unformal education to not understand that point. That was informal, what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dude, you are a fool. Hey, we get into an argument, we at your house, guess what, I'm leaving. We get into an argument, we at my house, you leave. KD got into an argument with Draymond, there were probably more issues than that, obviously. So right, you're admitting KD was a guest in somebody else's house. Kobe had a house, sir. Oh, this your house. I'm not. Oh, where you at, Kyrie? I'm homeless, too. I ain't loving this up there in Boston. Let's go. That's all that was. You just you. said Kobe. You just said they both homeless niggas who got together. <laughs> and then you got the nerve to compare a nigga to Kobe. And you talking about a nigga homeless? give Steph Curry so much credit when he defers, when he just says, let me take a step back. But when KD does the same thing, like, I ain't gonna blow y'all house up, even though, it, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, I know this is the house y'all built, but boy, I put some finishes on this sucker. KD just deferred. He, he said, helped tremendously. He helped Steph Curry's legacy as well, the two back-to-backs. And I know a lot of Curry fans don't want to give KD credit for that shit, but he helped Curry's legacy tremendously. Curry would not be talked about the way he is today had KD not joined that Warriors team, right? And they went back to back and go on those historic runs, forming one of the greatest teams of all time. So I have that. I ain't gonna blow up three dudes who love each other versus me. I came in here, got my finals MVP, showed that I'm better than the MVP, showed that y'all could get over the hump every single well, time. Well, it was close. I mean, we're not gonna act like, Steph played bad, one bad, had one bad game, and KD won the MVP. Let's not act like Steph wasn't worthy of winning the MVP. Now, KD was trying to give it to him because he knows how he knows how you niggas spin awards. So he was trying to get Steph the award, but then he realized, like, I got, I got to put my foot on the gas so we can win this championship. With me, and I'm out. That's all that was to me. But listen to this. This is amazing. Then we got to go to break. They say, KD's the only player. Uh-oh. Only player in NBA history has swept in a postseason. <laughs> that nigga swept that nigga's an asshole. <laughs> in a postseason to have 50, 40, 90 shooting splits and more playoff series than anyone else. Only player. Oh, let's go here, Kevin. That's a fantastic stat. It doesn't make him better than Kobe Bryant. <laughs> no. Put the fucking sheet of look, his producers put their sheet on the their sheet of paper on the table. Marcelo's looking, he looking, boy. <laughs> they play basketball. They play basketball on paper, y'all. This is why they, they, when KD comes back the next year, because this is 2022, this is why they get their ass well, again, year after year, because they try to play basketball with percentages and on paper, which that's not how you play ball, bro. You're missing out on intangibles that KD don't have. Players. One of four players with his season career averages, 27, 7, and 4. Only four players. You want to know the other three? Uh-oh. LeBron. Ooh. Wilt. Oh, the Wilt. Oh, <laughs> I ain't going to say shit. Damn, I ain't say Steph. Damn, I ain't say King. I ain't even say Cole. Respect. You ain't say Michael, neither. Uh, I mean, he took the dick ride. Marcellus took the dick ride to a whole nother level. Um, <laughs> Hellified Cap, y'all. This is why the series is called Hellified Cap, nigga. When you can try and rationalize putting KD over Kobe Bryant, bro, look, no player has been disrespected by the media more than Kobe Bryant. And I'm making my case. Every time I do these videos and I go back in the past, I'm making my case. Rich Paul, 
you should offer Kobe an apology right now for that fucking bullshit ass statement you said about LeBron being criticized more than Mike and Kobe. Because I'm proving without a shadow of a doubt, at least niggas got LeBron at number two. They're trying to put Kobe at the edge of the 10. Some people got him at 14, bro. Marcellus Wiley just did the unthinkable. He put KD over Kobe Bryant. You niggas is rewriting history putting Tim Duncan over Kobe Bryant. You don't have the same criteria for Magic. You don't have the same criteria for Kareem. You only have that criteria for Kobe Bryant. And we gonna get to the bottom of why. But anyways, this is the Kobe Bryant Film Room, Hellified Cap Edition, starring Marcellus Wiley and Emmanuel Altrum. I'm out.